Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar at uh, JFT Brokers and the topic for today will be JFT Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those webinars and um, if you want to get in touch with me you see already my email address here. Just call me Stefan, that's um, fair enough and uh, the email address is s friedrichowski at jftbrokers.com. I know it's a really complicated last name, um, but if you write at uh, jftbrokers.com, finally, um, that email will uh, go straight to me, uh, if you mention Stefan. Okay, um, JFT Invest, uh, that's the topic for today, and JFT Invest is um, the a social trading platform at uh, JFD that means you can uh, select between different trading strategies and finally copy those trades of the different strategies into your personal JFD Invest account, which is a quite cool story. And um, yeah, you will see what you can do with that. And I will explain a little bit. And of course, uh, I'll, special topics for today will be uh, my personal uh, JFD Invest account, uh, where I follow a couple of strategies. Um, now we are exceeding already the 40% uh, growth uh, within about six months. So that's a remarkable result, I think. And of course, we will talk about uh, the outperformer of last week, which is the strategy Archimedes. Um, and uh, I will explain a little bit more about the strategy and uh, what the strategy is doing and uh, why it's uh, especially doing what it's doing. So um, I hope you will get uh, all the information you need, um, because uh, I will uh, additionally touch those topics, how to invest and uh, what is needed. But before we really start, uh, you know, um, I have to show that with disclaimer as always, uh, because we talk about trading, we talk about investing, and uh, but nevertheless, whatever you do finally, you do it on your own, on your own responsibility, I think, that's self-explaining, but it has to be mentioned uh, every time. And as every time, I have to mention the date. Today is the 8th of uh, March 2019. I forgot that. So before we uh, go into highlights of last week, just that you know what you can do at the JFD Invest. So um, in principle, you have uh, on the home page the button investing, and then you go for mirror trading. Uh, that's quite easy. And if you follow that, then you um, see already some more details about um, JFD Invest. So you see the steps of what you might do if you want to follow. But let's start with uh, the strategies. So you see here a picture of the top five performing strategies that are not only um, there are more strategies in total we have uh, 11 I think right now <clears throat> but you see already here a quick summary of uh, the top five performers um, yeah headed, headed by Hyperion with a return of 88 uh, percent and that is about within one year so that's a remarkable result uh, and uh, that strategy is trading DAX and uh, Dow Jones only um, so but nevertheless remarkable result but we have to talk about the other key figures here as well um, uh, I will do it a little bit later but you see we are talking about trading strategies which not only have a single digit growth um, no we are really talking about high performing uh, strategies um, so it might uh, get your interest as well you see others like uh, Galileo uh, 75 so quite well and Archimedes later will be one special topic for today uh, which has earned up to now 30 percent and um, so Let's uh, look to that as well. But you see, we have other key figures. And all you have to do in order, if you want to follow those uh, kind of strategies, are those four steps. So first thing is you open um, a JFD Invest profile, just pressing the button Start Now. Um, that is more like a Facebook account or, yeah, it's just uh, you need your email address and then you set a password for your profile. And uh, second is you have to open, uh, if you want to follow, uh, specific strategies, uh, then you have to open an invest account at JFD, 
uh, brokers that is a special account um, trading uh, with a leverage of 1 to 100 since uh, you follow professional traders and therefore you get the same leverage of that account. And the other thing which is special, uh, you may regret, but um, that is that you cannot open personal trades within that account. Therefore, you need you cannot use your, your already existing standard JFD brokers account. Uh, so that's uh, why you need a special account just for those uh, copy trading activities. Then you connect the two and then you can start trading. So it's really simple and uh, that's uh, all you need to do. Uh, but just uh, that you see a little bit more about the strategies. Um, so I, I uh, uh, went here already on the web page uh, for the uh, guest account uh, since it's um, not responding immediately I take another channel here to do so uh, because it goes faster and then you are already in as a guest that's something you can do always so you can have more details about the strategy even as a guest so whenever you uh, want to know a little bit more about those things just go in as um, with a guest profile that's easy uh, if you are really locked in with your own profile and you can see some additional details. But nevertheless, you see again those um, 11 strategies. There's one page more uh, with the 11th one, but now we have here the 10th and you see that we have some additional information, inception date. So you can see, okay, the strategy is not running since a month. No, it's uh, already running since more than a year. And total return, last one return and year to day result. And the last figure, which is quite important as well, is called equity balance deviation. What does it mean? Um, if you are already within in the business of trading then you know that you have always an account with equity and balance and the difference is exactly the open positions and from time to time or as always if you open a position then immediately in the next millisecond you are the minus because you have to pay uh, commission spreads and everything but even further uh, you might have opened the trade, let's say, in the wrong direction. So trade is against you. That means you have so-called floating losses. And those floating losses might uh, get higher and higher. In this case, you see that it's uh, exceeding a number of 40%. And all those things you can see uh, in detail uh, if you go for a selected strategy. In this case, I pressed uh, for Hyperion. And then you see, okay, Okay, that's the overall growth of the strategy. That's fine. Um, those are the 80%. Um, but now let's have a look to the uh, change over time of equity balance deviation. Then you can see that right now we don't have, and in the last couple of weeks and months, we don't have had uh, high floating losses. Uh, but there has been a time in September last year with high floating losses. Finally, as you have seen in the growth, um, trades recovered, so everything was fine, uh, and we have that kind of growth. So that is one additional information you have always when you uh, go a little bit more in detail uh, in those strategies. And I really recommend, before starting copying any strategy, that you really get a feeling for the strategy, because those things like floating losses you might have in future as well. I mean, there's no guarantee for any future, uh, but of course, those things might happen again. Therefore, the selection process of those strategies you like to follow is a quite important one. Think about a different perspective. If you do that kind of job, then you act as a portfolio manager. So it's it's a tough job. It's uh, something you really have to go into the details of those strategies um, before you start. And that's really something I can only recommend. We have a lot of information for your survey here, uh, like a monthly return table that you see, okay, uh, sometimes we have uh, negative months, but most of them are positive. And you have some statistics about all those trading strategies as well. And um, for example, uh, we can look for the traded instruments. And as I mentioned for the strate uh, strategy Hyperion, that strategy is trading mainly um, 
DAX and Dow Jones, there have been a few other trades, but um, only with low numbers. On the other hand, on the other hand, you can see, okay, more than 1,400 trades has been executed within one year. So it's it's a real active strategy. It's not that we, we took a strategy as uh, 10 lucky winners and then um, we we published that strategy here on JFD Invest. No, we have real statistics behind. Every strategy which is shown here um, has been selected by JFD and um, yeah, there has been a real survey uh, review process for those strategies before entering JFD Invest. So you can see traded instruments um, as well. So the, you have lots of information here available. But now, um, maybe you get the newsletter as well, but uh, that was a newsletter we sent out um, at the beginning of the week. And you see that Archimedes has been the top performer uh, of last week with 5.5%. And so mm, that strategy might be uh, an option for you as well. And therefore, I want to talk a little bit more about that strategy here within that uh, webinar. So first, as always, because we need to get a feeling for the strategy. Let's uh, go for Archimedes and uh, look for the same things we did for Hyperion. So overall, we have that kind of growth here, uh, quite steady growth. Okay, there was a yeah, very good growth uh, in September last year. And then it went steady forward uh, and still earning um, money, more or less yeah, same amount every month about. Because I mentioned that kind of figure of equity balance deviation is quite important because it represents your potential floating losses. At least what we see here is, is the history of the floating losses. So the temporal minus of your account. And then you see, okay, now we have only numbers. Yeah, uh, maximum number was here about 4%. So that's, um, so the strategy so to say, is more stable than the other one. So that's um, really a cool story. Uh, with that strategy, we have only green uh, numbers here <clears throat> uh, for for every month. The strategy is now um, eight months old and running. And let's see what kind of instruments the strategy is trading. And there now you see most of them are <clears throat> strange symbols uh, strange not because uh, we have here euro us dollar that would be not a strange symbol you see most of the trades have been executed on the forex pair um, the euro polish slotty that might strain might be strange um, i have no idea whether you have ever traded to euro polish slotty and the good thing is that strategy is exactly taking advantage of the behavior of that special forex pair. But what is really special on Euro Polish Slotty? Let's have a look. So I go here uh, just uh, in my MT4 account just um, to show the kind of behavior of, of the uh, Polish Slotty. That's a daily chart. Uh, the strategy itself is not trading within a daily uh, more uh, uh, smaller time frame, but anyhow, what we see here is about one year of Euro Polish slotty on a D1 chart. And you see already, first view, it's more or less acting sideways and nothing else. And even more, if you look to the scale here, um, to the scale on the right hand side, you can see that this one year. Polish slotty has a deviation. So if you look to the scale, we have numbers here like 4.4. And on the downside, we have 4.25. So that's less than 5%. That's in the order of 4% um, maximum deviation between maximum within that year and minimum within that year. That's a really small number. Let me show you that it's this is really a small number. Uh, let me take uh, Euro um, Japanese Yen for, as another example. Okay, here, if you look to the scale on the right hand side, then you can see, okay, maximum 133, minimum um, 120. So that's about 10%. So it's more than double 
uh, the scale of a Polish slotty. Okay, so, but now you may think then it's even more strange that we can have that quite profitable strategy uh, with an instrument which is not really changing over time. Uh, it has no, no real trend behavior, um, no long faces of upwards, downwards. Uh, most of the time it's just wiggling around. And that is an ideal case for a special type of strategy. Because what you in principle can do, if go back here, for example, in, uh, uh, in the middle of my picture, if you just open at any time both trades, a long and a short trade, and it's only a question of time and you have um, a take profit, which is not too far away, then it's only a question of time that both trades will hit the tech profit. And even if this price is for one position against you, okay, then we can do what you have learned about it was another kind of webinars, and I will do a similar one at the end of the month and explain much more in detail what the strategy here is doing. Even if the trade is on the first hand against you, you can open additional trades. So um, you may think, okay, Hey, I have learned and I read in any textbook, if you are in a minus, don't further buy the same instrument, same direction. In principle, that opinion is right. But if you have an underlying which is known for sideward movements, then you can do something like that. And especially you can do it even more and better if you have um, good stop loss control. Uh, so you have limited risk uh, on your overall trading volume and tra uh, lot size of your trades. I will uh, explain more about that uh, in the regular webinar um, uh, Thursday that's uh, at the end of the month and you will find it on the web page of uh, JFD uh, brokers as well. But that's the idea of that strategy. Sideward movements are ideal and those will be transformed into profitable trades because it's not, um, yeah, we don't have um, long movements in one direction. And if you have the right strategy for such an instrument, perfect. Then you can have exactly those kind of results as uh, shown here. And um, yeah, that's how the strategy is, is uh, actually working. So it's really, um, uh, opening trades in both directions and then doing some rebuys uh, at certain levels. So yeah, that's a good idea. If you like to follow those kind of strategies, then there's one additional information you always need to know that is uh, the so-called minimum investment sum. Um, so if you want to follow, uh, for example, this kind of strategy, you need a minimum investment sum of 3,000 euros. And another thing you can see here is um, that there is a performance fee um, related to those uh, trade copy mechanisms. Um, that means 25%. Okay, you think, oh, 25 I mean, this sounds high, but 25% is only for the profits you make and only if you have new highs within your growth of your copy account. So that means it's what is called high watermark uh, principle. Uh, so you only pay with new highs and uh, only at the end of the months or when you stop uh, copying that kind of strategy. Uh, so it's a quite fair uh, deal to have a high watermark as performance fee and then finally if you have growth like that one here with uh, 31 percent out of those you would have to pay those 25 so uh, around uh, eight percent in total still you have a remarkable result talking about remarkable results let's have a look to my personal um, jfd invest account and then you can see how it really works if you do something with uh, JFD Invest. And that is an account I show um, every week within those webinars. It's my personal JFD Invest account. And I follow a couple of strategies since the very beginning of JFD Invest. So that was uh, 24th of uh, September last week, uh, last year. And I started um, with a balance of 10K. So what did I achieve during the last six months? Okay, 
overall, you can see my account um, is now exceeding um, 13,000. So my total profit is a little bit more than 3K. And now you might wonder, hmm, profit and loss, 4K. It's written here on the web page. Yeah, the difference is exactly the fee, but still having 30% growth in six months, um, it's not a better return. So therefore, I don't care about that uh, missing 1,000 because uh, I have earned uh, 3,000 uh, within six months. Uh, so that's a good result in percent. We have um, gross already more than uh, 40%. Which strategies I'm following? Let's look to my allocation. And there you see exactly um, my portfolio constitutions. And you see that I follow PowerFX, Archimedes, as mentioned, Volcano, Goldmine, and Balance. So those um, five strategies are within my portfolio. And how to adjust uh, such a portfolio? I did a webinar um, last week. Um, what is it, the week before? Anyhow, uh, how to create portfolios and how to take the input of monthly growth tables of the history and then how to create the best one. Uh, so you find on the recordings uh, that kind of uh, webinar, uh, how you can do it by your own or just by, select, by, by uh, doing a review on all those strategies which are available. And then according to your personal preferences, you invest some money in specific strategies you really like. You understood what they are doing. You see what kind of risk is involved uh, with those strategies uh, because, yeah, growth is not everything. Let me, let me take you a quick example here. Um, so... First guess, what I always do is, for example, I compare return, for example, with equity balance deviation. And in this case, you see there's a factor of two between those two strategies. And if you go for other strategies like Galileo, mm, that's now more than a factor of three. And Archimedes is ex even exceeding that number uh, that we have um, a factor of six. So. I know equity balance deviation is not everything. You have to look to the drawdown of those kind of strategies as well. But it's always a mixture between, or it's a comparison between um, return and risk. And um, one element behind, uh, beside equity balance deviation is the drawdown. Unfortunately, the number is not here, but it's really easy uh, to get that kind of number. Uh, for example, if you look to uh, Galileo, let's have a quick uh, view on that. Then we can see, okay, we have an equity balance deviation, which is 23%. Um, and the overall growth has never a number which is higher than that. Uh, also the, the loss is never higher. So the, the, the drawdown is um, not exceeding uh, that number. And that you can do for, for any strategy, just uh, looking to the growth versus time. And uh, then you see those kind of number. I'll give you another example um, because I want to um, at least touch that topic here. Because if you are reviewing right now, um, or within the next couple of hours, uh, JFD and West, you will see if, for example, for the strategy gold mine, that spike. Um, we have to get rid of that because that spike is, is, is totally artificial. And even uh, the negative number of March uh, is uh, artificial. And the, the reason behind this, as we speak, there's still a miscalculation uh, because I did a withdrawal on that account uh, so that uh, account went down to 5K. Uh, and for whatever reason, we don't know why, but uh, we, we did it yesterday. Uh, we have now that spike here uh, within the growth, which is not actual, but uh, we will um, take care that that will be corrected. But now back to my topic. Um, um, on the one hand, we have equity balance deviation. And in this case, the equity balance deviation is just close to 6%, so not that high. But for this strategy, for example, we have a drawdown. The drawdown is from here to here. And that drawdown is um, about 10 or 12%. Uh, so if you want to consider return versus risk, <clears throat> we have to take that number in 
into consideration as well. Nevertheless, that kind of strategy is, let's say, not that volatile. It's doing a fantastic job over time. You see um, near close to almost one and a half year history. Uh, so it's really uh, quite well doing strategy and you can see a lot of investors are following uh, gold mine 34 investors are following total uh, assets under management for that particular strategy is right now um, exceeding the 100 so numbers are getting higher and higher which is fine uh, and the good thing is people are um, getting profits out of uh, following those strategies so that's even better uh, and as i do with my uh, JFD Invest account, you can see what's possible with uh, JFD Invest, copying those kind of strategies uh, according to your own preferences, which is really fantastic because you are still involved um, and not just saying, okay, 10K, do give to somebody and do whatever. No, you are still involved by selecting uh, allocation, uh, the right, amount of money and finally with some risk settings as well so you act as a personal portfolio manager which is really a cool and fantastic job so that's for today um i will do the next webinar next week then uh, i hope that we are uh, on track still here and maybe we will see already 44 45 um for my account and uh, yeah, let's see what we have new next week. That's for now. And uh, more or less the week is over. Uh, not totally. So have a great weekend and see you again hopefully next week. Bye-bye. Ciao.